Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at one of my favorite worms because its payload is very creative. Of course I'm talking about the melting screen worm. Go ahead and run it. We'll see if it mass mails itself. Runtime error 438, object doesn't support this property or method. Now this is a fake message. Don't appear to get the uh, email, however the email tells you to install VBS runtimes in order to see this really cool melting screensaver. Now this worm basically makes companion files for all these exe files in the windows folder. You can see the snowflakes are here everywhere or at least at the top they were. Anyway this makes computing very difficult. Cannot find the file. Okay. On time error 75. Path access error. Requested file is not a valid font file. Now basically when it copies all these names for itself it cross links all these exes to run random programs so you could try to run calculator and you'll end up getting something completely different. See this is supposed to be media player however it doesn't do anything. Let's see what else. We'll go ahead and restart so we can fully infect the PC. Just gotta wait a few minutes because this computer is slow. I'm thinking about doing something very special with this computer. If you guys would like, on April 26th, the anniversary of CIH, I could potentially destroy this computer with the CIH. Have the overriding BIOS payload and all that crap. I think it would be a really nice send-off. And yeah. Alright, we'll go ahead and do that, because that'll be really cool. And I've never trashed one of my computers with CIH yet which in over three years of doing this is a bit overdue so this computer is falling apart anyway CD drive works 50% of the time floppy drive same thing it's basically just falling apart alright we'll see if we can get some melting screen going on here because it looks pretty cool see all these frost icons everywhere of files that have been replaced so far come on you're supposed to melt the screen do it and every time you run one of these files it infects another one hardware info runs an uninstaller melting screen executable runs as WJ view help Media player runs smart drive. You can see everything's just getting messed up here. But it's not melting the screen, which is a very bad email worm. Why is that accessing the floppy disk drive? I don't understand. What are you doing? Oh, it's trying to clean up the drive. Okay. Come on, melt. Melt. Damn you. Melt. Son of a bitch. DOS rep? Dr. Watson? Scan disk? That's not what I wanted. Explorer.bin. You see it stores the original files in these .bin files and then takes their original name. Okay, sound recorder. That's not what I wanted. I want you to melt the damn screen. Tap. God. You jerk. Welcome to Windows 98. Damn it, get out of here. What? Whoa, what? What? Oh, what the hell is going on? Okay. Get out of here. Windows, okay. Melt the screen. Welcome to Windows Update. Phone dialer. Imaging. And none of these are melting the screen. Launch view. Alright, we'll play some salt air. And hearts, apparently. Minesweeper. Kodak. J view. 
M386. Drive space. Win pop up. Okay. Ping.bin was just created. What's ping.exe do? IP config. There we go. Finally! Holy crap, that took forever. We get the melting screen payload, which looks really cool. That should not have taken five and a half minutes to get to work. Well, I guess this serves as a good example that viruses can be a real pain in the ass sometimes. Now this doesn't stop. If you hit escape, no. See if task manager will come up, yeah. Alright, task manager, you can end melting screen. Okay, now it does it all the time. What an asshole. Worms are assholes. That's all there is to it. Okay, now every time it does it. However, I had to run like 100 infected files before it would even do this. Let's try restarting the PC and see if it melts the screen immediately on starting the computer. Now that a whole ton of files are infected. I guess this is a nice long video, but if a lot of it is just me swearing at the PC for being stupid, I guess that doesn't make very good content. I'm on Windows 98. This video is approaching the 7 minute mark. That's ridiculous. Seven minutes for a video that should have taken like three. All because the worm had to not work at all. Finally. Okay. Now we should get some melting going on right now. Yeah, there we go. Good job, worm. You worked. It's a pretty cool effect. I like it. We'll get out of here so we can log on and see it again. I think it's doing it right now. Maybe. Maybe not. Come on, load explorer. There we go. And once again, the melting payload starts. So you can see this worm would be pretty devastating. I mean, all the programs you're trying to run end up running something else because the worm skews associations. I mean, you saw while I was trying to get it to work that even executing the same program again and again would open something different every time. This would be insanely frustrating to try to work with. And not only that, in order to clean up, you'd have to delete all those melting screen executables in the Windows folder and then replace all of the .bin files that I created to their original state. And it would also email all your friends, so you'd screw over a lot of their PCs too. So, yeah. Pretty much a pain in the ass. And the payload looks pretty cool, so I guess that balances it out, if you're like me. So, that's about it for the melting screen worm. After nearly nine minutes of hell.